Hey book club, Dan here from One Man Book Club. Today I've got a one minute book review for you of a book I just finished called The Blue Sword by Robin McKinley. Uh, loved it. The 80s brought a lot of good things. Music, movies, clothes, books. Wait, books? How often do you hear about books from the 80s? Well, the 80s was a glorious decade for books. Stephen King, Tom Clancy, they're at the top of their game, so was John Irving, Daniel Steele, Robert Ludlum. The 80s gave us The Handmaid's Tale, Ender's Game, The Color Purple, The Remains of the Day, uh, The Joy Luck Club, many, many other amazing books and authors, including Robin McKinley, was uh, debuted in the 80s. Uh, her book, The Blue Sword, was a Newbery Honor winner in 1983, and its sequel, or better said maybe prequel, but was published after The Blue Sword, The Hero in the Crown, won the Newbery Medal in 1985. Now these are the awards for distinguished children's literature, um, and these are great examples. And I just finished The Blue Sword for the first time, and I'm excited that right now I'm reading The Hero in the Crown uh, and I can tell you that I love it even more than I love The Blue Sword, and I'm only about 20% of the way through. Anyway, The Blue Sword is young adult fantasy. Before young adult fantasy became synonymous with things like love triangles and insta-love and angsty teenagers. Thankfully, those are nowhere to be found. But never fear, all the other well-known and honestly much love young adult tropes are there. And that's a good thing. Absent parents, a beauty that doesn't know she's beautiful, the chosen one, an outsider that, that the, the protagonist is an outsider, uh, unknown superpowers, strong female characters, a truly evil bad guy, wise mentors, um, obvious but not obvious love interests, uh, you name it, it's all in there. And thank goodness. I mean, we know those uh, we know um, those themes, we love those themes so well and so much because they work. And it was actually a lot of fun discovering those well-used themes in a 40-year-old young adult fantasy story. I enjoyed the journey the story took me on. The pacing actually did feel a little slow, and that's kind of 80-ish to me also. I find that in other novels written in that time period. Um, I actually blame the kind of dry and mon monotone performance of the audio narrator I listened to during a road trip that I was on when I read this book. When I actually read the book, things moved along a lot, moved along a lot better. So uh, anyway, any story that features a strong girl who wields a magic sword and rides a cool horse isn't going to have to work very hard to win me over. And that's what's in here. I think you're going to love it. No content issues at all. Just because of the slower pacing, I'd say that's most accessible for 14 and up, but uh, content-wise, open to anyone. Anyway, uh, happy reading of a really great book. Thanks, everyone.